here I am sat inside um, on this cold day just in front of the fire you may be able to just see behind me through the window the boat um, you can see the blue cover and just the top of the outdrive and the transom behind me um, that's where she lives just outside there outside our lounge window which of course is uh, very popular with my wife but luckily she's uh, very tolerant and uh, she puts up with me like they all do I suppose anyway I just had to share I received a package today. It came from um, Texas in America from a brochure collector. Now I've been looking for one of these for quite a while um, and I haven't been able to find any in this country that somebody is willing to sell. But I have got the original Shakespeare 650 brochure um, here with all the specs and all the, the details in and also a write-up of a mini test um, that was in a magazine, but I must admit I don't know which, um, that came with it. Now, my boat was the first um, Mark II 650 made. So, this brochure is specific to my boat, because my boat was the demo boat. It was at the 1994 Southampton Boat Show and things like that. So, this boat in the brochure is my boat. So, um, I'm keen to preserve the history and... Um, keep as much record of everything as I can. So um, yeah, I thought I would just show you this because I've been looking for it, but apparently the Shakespeare 650 took the sports boat market by storm, a combination of style, exhilarating performance and superb build quality. Well, I can't argue with any of that. And it also says the Shakespeare 650 is more than just a sports boat, a superbly appointed ergonomically designed cuddy cabin gives dry, airy accommodation and ample stowage for long days away at sea. And again, I must agree with that. The good thing is with this, I've now got a picture of the original cuddy cabin cushions, the original stripes that were on the side, all of which have been removed. So I'm going to attempt to put the boat back to as close to standard as I can, or original, should I say, because now I've got photos with it all on, uh, with all the... The details on you can see the uh, cuddy cabin there and the stripes on the boat so yeah I've got all of them and uh, in this report for this test which was done by um, a chap called Tom is it um, I haven't researched who he worked for or who he does work for um, it's quite funny because he says short of Claudia Schiffer slipping into a wetsuit full of marmalade life with this boat is pretty much complete so um, Claudia Schiffer, if you're watching this um, and you want to slip into a wetsuit full of marmalade on the boat with me, please get in touch. Um, if anybody else wants to do the same, please get in touch. So yeah, I just thought I would show you that because, um, you know, it, it, things like that mean a lot to me. So I'll put that back in here now. thought I'd also mention um, what we're getting up to. It's January um, 2024 now. Uh, this year I've got a few things planned, not loads. Uh, a trip to Cornwall, possibly a trip to West Wales. Um, I'm um, in May. I'm going to the Southwest Sports Boat Rally in Torquay for the first time to uh, to um, spend three days with people um, with like-minded boats and things like that. So we'll see how that goes. But I've also put uh, myself in for um, being a Marshall boat with the Ucopra Power Boat Racing. Uh, whether this will actually happen, I haven't had the information back yet, but a previous owner of my boat, um, Rich, he used to race power boats, so he's into the race world. Um, I've been on the fringes for a few years because I know people who used to race and my father had some race boats, but I wasn't actually involved myself. Um, so yeah, so we're on the fringe. Me and Rich, we're thinking of being um, a safety boat, a marshal boat for some of the events. Which I think is quite fitting, really, because the Shakespeare was built um, by a chap called Francis Whitley. Now, those of you who know the racing world will know Francis has raced his own um, 960 Shakespeare. Um, for years he did in the Ucopa events. The boat was called Fugitive. Well, unfortunately, he passed away last year. Um, and even though I only met him once um, for a very short period, I did feel a bit of a loss that, that he was gone. And it is a shame... Um, that, that that sort of era is over so I think it's fitting that my boat uh, being made by him is still present at some of the races um, uh, sort of 
not in tribute, but it, I just think it's something that will be fitting. So I'm excited to try and do that, but we'll see. So yeah, watch uh, watch this space. Uh, there'll be more videos. There'll be more slipway reviews when I get there. There may be some powerboat race reviews. There's going to be a powerboat rally review, sports boat rally review, and a few other things. So uh, yeah, see you soon.